cheaper and better by this not that drugstore alternatives to high-end products whatever you want to call them if you want to call them dupes that is what we're talking about today i have several different things that i want to share with you and i want to get right into that we're going to take a look at what i have on for my sundress and my jewelry and all that but before we do i want to just quickly say that for me when i'm talking about cheaper and better i'm not necessarily talking about a dead on match to the product that i am showing that is high end the reason that i feel so strong strongly about that that I don't have to match it absolutely is because when you get it on your face nine times out of ten nobody's going to ever be able to tell you're the only one that's going to be able to see that it's different also what I love about cheaper and better at the drugstore is that you can not only save money but you're also being able to try more things and I think that's all kinds of fun as well I'm going to show you several today some of them will be spot on and some of them will be just all alternatives so i'll make sure that i tell you that as we go through let's take a look at what i have on okay so i wanted to share the maxi dress that i'm wearing today this is such a pretty floral print i love it it's got all kinds of pinks and gold and yellow and then it's got a little bit of a really pretty kind of celery green on it it's just so pretty it has tears on it so you've got ruffle 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 but it just lays so pretty this is a ruching right here through the waist right underneath the bust all the way down the waist it's just adorable and then um it does have some buttons right here this dress itself has so many prints and it's unreal how many different styles they have of it it's just so comfy for summer and i think you're gonna love it and then i just paired it with one of my black purses quilted purse just think it's really cute i will show you really close what it looks like it's got the chain on it for the handle and you can make that shorter if you want to so you could carry it cross your shoulder or you could make it cross body if you want to and then since i can't show you my shoes here is the shoes these are just super comfortable shoes they say um shibaver something like that anyway really love these they've got a plastic heel it's not wood and i do like that about it. it seems to cushion just a little bit better and speaking of the cushioning it's fantastic i wear these all the time and just really can wear them completely throughout the day and never have any problems with them hurting my feet or anything like that even though they do have a little bit of a heel there i would say with the platform on the on the front of the shoe it probably has like an inch and a half heel total that's what i have on for today now don't forget that i I do have a numbering system one through however many products that we get through you probably already saw a few go through with what i was wearing we're going to continue on with that numbering system then you can go down into the description box open it up and shop that way with the number of the next to the product and it's a lot easier because the link is there and any information that i can give you like i'll give you the size of this dress so let's get into the cheaper and better and the drugstore alternatives right now the first one i'm pretty excited about because i absolutely love the line of the high end that i'm going to talk about and that's rare beauty I think that she has kept her prices a little bit lower. They're not so high on the high end scale. So if you're talking about Westmore Atelier or you're talking about Chanel or any of Dior, any of those are really high priced. This luminizer is a liquid highlighter that is so, so pretty. It's in Enchant. And this one is one of those ones that I fell in love with immediately. It works into your skin and just gives you the most beautiful glow. It's not like you have a bunch of shimmer or you have a really high beam look. It's just a really pretty glow. I always, I'm going to say this again. I know you guys have heard it a million times. I put my luminizers or my highlighters underneath my blush. And for a mature woman, it doesn't show up any texture that way. But I did from Joa, I found on Amazon, I did find this product from them. And this one is called, this one is called Liquid Rays Highlighter. And this one is in Pink Dawn. And so it's another pink color. And this is the one that I have on this side today. And I just think that this was a really, really good alternative. It's a little bit more of a highlighter than the actual one from Rare Beauty, but you get that on your cheeks and nobody can tell. It's just lovely. It feels very soft and very blendable. 
on your skin. I just really like it. So yes, that is our first alternative or cheaper and better at the drugstore. The next one is also from Rare Beauty and that is her liquid blushes. These are gorgeous, gorgeous products. These take so very little to be able to give you such a really bright look on your cheeks. I'm actually wearing this one here today and I'm going to just swatch that for you and I'm actually gonna put it on top of those luminizers. That one goes on top of the luminizer from them or from Rare Beauty. So pretty, so easy to blend out. It just really brightens your face and they stay around for a long time. That's one of the things that I love about a liquid blush over a powder blush, you get such a long lasting look. The other thing is if you want a powder on top of that, you've got it sealed on your face, which is so nice. Now this one is called Grace right there. And on one side of my face, I was wearing Grace and that was this side. And then on this side, I'm wearing the one that is the alternative. And this is from Laker Rain Beauty and this color doesn't have a color. This doesn't have a color, but I will make sure that I link it for you below. It's pretty darn close. The one from Rare Beauty, I think might have a little bit more of the bluish tint to it. This is actually just kind of a bright, bright pink there. So these are so, so close. The way that the bottle is, the look of them, they are pretty much identical. I don't think you could, you know, pick them out if you turned the name around and you were looking at it like that. I really love that I was able to find something that was every Every bit as good as the Rare Beauty. Now these aren't super duper expensive. I know that Juvia's Place just came out with their liquid blushes and they were on the drugstore side of Ulta and they're $18. So definitely going to save you some money cheaper and better at the drugstore. This one I was really excited to do. Now this is a Givenchy Prism Libre for pan or four squares on this little container right here has different colors of powder in it. Now I have had this one for such a long time and been babying it and hoping that it would last. And so I finally was just like, I'm going to use that up. One thing that I will tell you about the Prism Libre that I'm not crazy about, it does have these itty bitty tiny reflex of little glitter in it. And when I first saw it, I was like, okay, am I seeing that right? but you really have to be in a certain light to be able to catch it. Other than that, it's just a beautiful powder that is correcting. You buy the one that you feel like is right for you. This one originally, now it doesn't, but it originally had a pink, a peach, a little bit of a blue in there and I think it had a like a deeper pink in on one side So I can't remember because it's been such a long time, but this is a really expensive powder I want to say that it's close to up there on at about $60 might be even more now that all the prices are going super high, but Moira has this fantastic alternative now the Moira one has let's see I think it just has three so the Moira has a purple a pink and then a bright bright pink in here and it comes out looking very lavenderish when it gets mixed together and what I love about a lavender powder is that it's super brightening you can do pink and you can do lavender and you're going to find that both of those underneath the eyes, you know, in the center of your face to set your makeup all over if you're pretty fair, if you're like medium to fair. But they're very, very brightening. And that's one thing that I do love about this powder. It is super brightening. You're gonna have a hard time seeing it once I work it in a little bit. But really for just a fraction of the cost, and when I say fraction, I really do mean it. You get as much product, if not more, and there is no comparison as far as how expensive this one from Givenchy is. This one from Moira, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you could not possibly tell the difference. It might be a bit more mattifying than the Prism Libre, but that would just be in look, not in feel, because you're looking at powders on both sides, and the Prism Libre might just have a little bit more of the reflective properties in it, but wow. To save that kind of money all day long, I'm going to reach for the Moira. My good friend Lisa from Lisa J Makeup, such a dear. If you don't follow her, you really should be. Anyway, she talked about how good these cream sticks are from Westman Atelier, and they really are good. It's one that I've really been enjoying. It's seamless in the way that it blends out. I love that about it. I have it up in my hairline on this side today, and I did this whole side of bronzing and also contouring with it really easy to work with. They're just a beautiful product, but this one right here is $48, I believe, the last time I looked at it. 
outrageous. I mean, for a stick that isn't got that much in it, I mean, it's got some, but that's it right there. So for me, that was just a little bit too high priced, even though it did perform really well. But recently essence came out with their contour sticks it's actually bronzing and contour stick but i love this little dude look at the difference between these two right here look at what i'm always talking about how a contour is something that should make something recede or hide and then a bronzer is something that makes something warm up this is a true contour this is a bronzer so i do have this in my hairline today i was carving out my cheekbones with it and then also my jowls right here down the neck i think this little thing is so great again you're not getting a ton of product but i think you're getting just as much as you do in this one even though this packaging feels heavier i think it's just all about the packaging so this was a find for me and the reason is is because the color is better and this is way cheaper so you want to talk cheaper and better this one from essence is absolutely it also tower 28 sent me this product and it is their daily rescue facial spray and it's sos save our skin but i didn't feel like this did much i used it as a priming spray i used it as something that was my first step before makeup I felt like it was a little bit hydrating, but as far as, you know, save our skin, you know, daily facial spray, it's just kind of a prep nice thing to have, but it's not a necessity. But I did find that my Milani, the supercharged spray, um, I gotta get my glasses to read this, girls. Uh, my The supercharged revitalizing facial spray, this one has ginseng and citrus extracts in it. I love this. I love the smell of it. I love how I really get just a boost after I use it. I will use this throughout the day to kind of refresh my makeup. This has a super fine mist on it. Better than the Tower 28. Cheaper and better. Again, you want to talk that. The Tower 28 comes out a little bit more heavy and it is a little bit, you know, leaves a few little droplets. I'm not crazy about that. But this one from Milani, like I said, this one is almost gone because I've been using it all summer long to just refresh my face. You know, when you, at the end of the day, you might be at a function, you know, a dinner, a wedding, whatever, and you just feel like you're just drying out. That's how I felt so many times. So I just use this and it revitalizes my skin. And because of the fragrance, that citrus in it, it does have a fragrance. So if you're adverse to that, please make note of that. That orange citrus smell in it just is really revitalizing to me. I'm not sure why other than citrus. Definitely wakes me up when I smell it. So I do love that one over the Tower 28. Also, I have this one. Now I was watching TikTok and this little gal said that she uses the Givenchy. This is a shadow eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, I should say, sorry. She uses this in her inner corner every day and she has since she was a teenager in high school. I don't know how a teenager in high school can afford, sorry, this is Giorgio Armani, can afford Giorgio Armani because I can barely afford it. This one is the color uh, 12S, I guess. I'll have to look and make sure. It'll be listed down below and linked. It's a beautiful color. It's quite light and it does do a great job on your inner corner. It makes it really bright and really pretty and it lasts all day long. A lot of times, you know, my eyes will tear. The inner corner will get the brunt of all of that. And so I'll have a tendency to wipe that off, but this stays all day and it's really good. I really do like it. But again, huge price tag for this little bitty bottle. But NYX came out with their Glow, Ultimate Glow Shots, and this one is in the color, let's try to figure this one out. Um, I can't see that little print to save me. Okay, the colors will all be listed below. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I do have the NYX on one eye and then the Giorgio Armani on the other eye. You cannot tell the difference, right? You can't tell that I have one color in the inner corner versus the other one. These are really, really good liquid eyeshadows, and I, do not hardly ever endorse any liquid eyeshadows at the drugstore because you just can't find a really good formula that lasts and doesn't really dry out and make your eyelids feel like they're really crepey. And when you're older anyway, you know, I'm 55 this year, when you're older anyway, it just kind of makes them look crinkly and worse. This one doesn't. So I would say that cheaper and better, cheaper definitely better. I would say that they're really close to the same. So I really do like the one from Giorgio 
Armani, but I would really like the price tag from the NYX. All right, that is the roundup for today. I hope that you did enjoy seeing Cheaper and Better by This Not That and Drugstore Alternatives. That's all rolled up into one. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I would really love to have you here as a part of our little family in our little corner of YouTube. No drama, just makeup, just fashion, and we love it. Please take care of yourself. I love you so much, and come back around really soon in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.